My name is uh, Mazahe Boreawala. Uh, I graduated from ISB uh, class of 2006. Uh, currently, I'm working with uh, uh, a family business. Uh, uh, the company's name is Touch of Glass, uh, and I'm a partner at the company. And uh, my work profile, uh, being a startup, it's a relatively new company. It's about three years old. Uh, my work is around everything. So essentially, uh, it, it's uh, marketing, finance, uh, taking care of production, uh, scheduling, uh, and pretty much everything that, uh, that is involved in a startup. An MBA for me was always something that was on the cards. Uh, uh, coming from a family business, uh, it is a the company needed to uh, to professionalize uh, greatly and uh, so which is why all the cousins uh, of the family knew that uh, an MBA was, was to be uh, done. Uh, why ISB? Uh, the, the company I was working for had uh, presence in the GCC uh, countries uh, and India was one uh, one area where uh, we had to we had to expand and uh, in that sense ISB was providing me with uh, an excellent faculty, uh, excellent uh, facilities, uh, uh, excellent peer group and at a very affordable price. So essentially, it was a good business uh, business case uh, to, to come here and, and study. And of course, on a, on a side note, I got engaged that year. So so for me, it made sense. And, and the girl is from Pune, so uh, it made sense for me to come to India. The ISB MBA, uh, from, from being able to professionalize the company, for sure, uh, in the sense that it, it gives you a very uh, macro perspective on, on how a business is to be run. And in the two years that I was uh, at, at the company before I came to, to ISB, the, the entire profile was to, to study and understand where the business is deficient and come here and take the, the relevant skills back to the company uh, to, to be able to grow it. So uh, I think the deterrent is not the, the length of the program. In fact, I think it's a strength. And uh, to say that uh, at the end of the day, you're learning pretty much the same thing that you would learn in a two-year program compressed into one year, I think that's a selling point for more than anything else. Uh, I believe the program at ISB uh, is, is extremely flexible uh, in the sense that uh, there are the first four core terms uh, which uh, basically grind you in, in, the, uh, in the necessary skills within all facets of the business, uh, of a business. Uh, the elective uh, terms did give me the flexibility to mold the course uh, to what I required personally for my business and uh, I believe that the, the courses that were, uh, 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 that were there, it justified me coming to ISB. Part of the entrepreneurship program was uh, that over the span of uh, six weeks, uh, we were supposed to uh, uh, build a project, uh, uh, an entrepreneur entrepreneurial venture. And uh, for that project, we built, uh, 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 based on the experience of, of, of one of our team members, a project uh, to, to do sales for uh, art. Uh, for art. And uh, this project, uh, eventually, we won a competition at ISB uh, for, for the venture and was then promoted at an international stage as well. Uh, where, where the team went and, and, and proposed the project, uh, which was an extremely, extremely good experience. Four years back, we shifted uh, uh, the, uh, in, in, the, in the previous family business, there were some, uh, uh, some conflicts. And uh, at that point, uh, uh, we chose to, to exit that business. And at which point, uh, uh, we, we also informed the, the previous company that we would not partake in the same activity again. And uh, that by itself, uh, to do that, to be able to do that was something that uh, uh, we had because of the education that, that we brought to the table, that is including uh, my brother and myself. Uh, to be able to step away from something that uh, my father was doing for, for 40 years, my brother was doing for 10, what I was doing for 8, and to say that we will not do that again and do something completely different is, is, uh, uh, is extremely difficult. What we did end up doing was uh, we were in the market for about uh, a good eight months to, to identify opportunities. Uh, we finally op identified an opportunity in the, in the interior artistic and decorative glass uh, business. And we entered that business without any formal knowledge of glass, uh, without any formal knowledge of production, without any formal knowledge of the customers or the suppliers. And to then sit here uh, three years down uh, of, of having successfully started the business uh, with the success that we've had, uh, it's, it's it's thanks to ISB. My life at ISB, I would like to imagine uh, it could be compared to a Funsu Kwangu of, of three idiots. Uh, the reason is I was not here for the grades, uh, I was here purely for the learning, uh, which is why I chose courses uh, that, that interested me, uh, that, 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 that motivated me, and uh, fortunately those courses were available. So, so I was here just to listen and to absorb the entire environment, really, uh, which, was, which was fantastic, and which made my life very easy because I ended up doing quite a few courses that uh, the other people were not taking. So, so I was very happy when I was there. The one year at ISB uh, changed me in a lot of ways professionally for sure. Uh, it also changed me personally. Uh, uh, this change primarily is on the way that I viewed success. Uh, the fact that uh, at, at 25 years old you are, you are studying with someone who is 42, with, with people who are 30 years old, 35 years old, 
uh, that has a huge humbling effect. It gave me different parameters of, of, of how I should view success. So the first parameter is of course monetary where you want to excel in whatever work that you're doing. The second parameter is your family, uh, having a great family life, which I do have, thank God. Uh, the third parameter is your social impact, uh, which is basically, let's say you go out there and you help people and you give back to the society. And the fourth parameter is your uh, personal life, where you take care of your, your, your body, your health and uh, your personal well-being. And to have success on these four parameters is something which I believe is truly important, which is something that I learned while I was here at Ice. But one thing I found extremely, extremely uh, strange uh, uh, was the way that the assignments uh, used to be submitted. We used to, for the first uh, couple of terms, uh, it used to really be a fight to get the project at the uh, Dropbox on time, uh, the, the assignment Dropboxes. Uh, we had deadlines, uh, which was usually three at night, so to get the assignments on time, uh, what changed later was uh, uh, we used to actually finish our assignments uh, uh, faster and we would still wait near the drop boxes to drop the assignments in at that gong. Uh, and it became more of a, a celebration as opposed to it being a, a task uh, in the beginning. And that for me was just a fantastic experience on how uh, assignments became a, a, a pleasure activity as opposed to a, a, a tough environment. Uh, I participated in an exchange program uh, from uh, from ISB. I went to a school uh, uh, called WHU in Germany. Uh, the exchange program by itself was a fantastic experience and I really thank ISB for it. Uh, I was the only Indian uh, student on campus for those four months and uh, it was really uh, a fabulous experience in terms of having cultural exchange as well as uh, a, a professional exchange with, with nationalities uh, with about uh, 16 or 18 different nationalities that were there on campus at that particular point. The courses uh, that I took while I was on the exchange program uh, were again mainly focused on, on what interested me. Uh, so it was, uh, I took courses on negotiation, I took a lot of courses on, on operations, I took some courses on strategy and some basic courses on finance. Uh, these were again all uh, uh, handpicked uh, from, from the amazing and exhaustive list that they had uh, specifically for, for my requirement, for what, what I thought I wanted to learn from those courses. Defining moment uh, for me at ISB, frankly there were many, uh, uh, however I, I have two that I can share. Uh, one is on a professional front, uh, we were doing a course uh, uh, and there was a game that we were playing called Retailer. Uh, in that game, we were supposed to use a complicated mathematical formula to be able to derive a particular result which would help us win the game. Uh, unfortunately, uh, not coming from a, a, a technical background, I, I did not have the requisite skills to, to use that formula. So I played the game on instinct. We won in that game and uh, I was called up uh, in front of class to explain what strategy I used and how I used the model to, to come to the required results to win the game. And uh, I had to tell the professor that, sorry, I did not understand the, uh, the math that went behind it. And I played it on instinct and, and, and won. At which point, uh, the professor, he, uh, uh, he asked me about my business. And I told him that I come from a trading company and we have uh, 30,000 SKUs. And uh, he, he put a very important point. He said, okay, you can do it for one product. How do you do it over 30,000 products? At which point I realized that uh, for people coming from family businesses, uh, sometimes you play uh, the market based on your instincts, which are not necessarily enough at all at all times. You have to have a strong research and analytical background to be able to, to play the game right in the long term. So so that for me was, was one defining moment where I decided that from now on, uh, any decision that I take will be based on, on solid research. I believe that uh, the, the most important learnings uh, that I had at ISB uh, really came of good use to me when, when we started uh, our new company, uh, Touch of Glass. Uh, right from uh, developing a business plan uh, all the way to executing it uh, and, and then uh, helping it grow. Uh, having the macro skills and the micro skills to manage a startup, uh, these skills came of tremendous uh, help uh, uh, when, when we were planning this venture and when we were executing it. Uh, so those were my key, key takeaways uh, of my year at ISB.